Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. This is Kathy, and this is my final card for my 2019 Valentine's Day card series. And I thought I would do something a little different with this card and make it more of a friendship valentine than a mushy valentine. And I thought the lovely panda stamp set from Gerda Steiner Designs would be perfect for that. And then to still keep it a valentine, I did incorporate some hearts. I just didn't use the traditional reds and pinks. I just used black, white, and yellow instead. So I started out by stamping the panda onto a piece of 80 pound Nina solar white cardstock. I used my favorite things, extreme black hybrid ink. Both are Copic friendly. Then I started to color in the panda and I started with C7 and just added the color where I wanted it to be the darkest. Since those areas are pretty small, I was just using a real light hand doing a flicking motion and to make sure that I kind of stayed in those tiny areas, I made sure to hold my marker pretty much straight up and down instead of more at an angle. Once I was done with the C7, I moved on to C5 to blend out the C7 a little bit and to make sure that that paw that's right in front of his little eye didn't just kind of meld into his face. I went over the very top of that paw with my C3 marker. Then I brought in the black marker just to add a little bit more shadow behind that paw to really make sure that there was some separation. Then I went over it once again with the C7 and the C5 just to soften up those lines a little bit. Then I added a tiny little bit of R00 to the inside of his ears. And then to add shading around his face, I went in with my C1 marker, concentrated a shadow, particularly under the little side of his nose and by the paw in front of his eye, blended out that line with my colorless blender and over blended a little bit. So I went back in and added a little bit more C1. For the background, I used the Bursting With Love background stamp from Hero Arts. I inked that up with cement gray hybrid ink from My Favorite Things. And then I placed my cardstock on top of the stamp so that I could make sure that I got a really good impression. And to avoid getting ink all over my hands, I just placed a piece of scratch paper on top of my cardstock, which that cardstock is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. But of course, I'm going to cut that down with my stitched rectangle dies because yes, I am still totally obsessed with those things. Next, it was time to stamp the sentiment. Since I already had that fishtail banner cut out, I decided that I might as well use it. So I treated it with my anti-static powder tool. Then I stamped the sentiment using Versamark ink, coated it with white embossing powder, and used my heat gun to melt it until it was smooth and shiny. From there, it was just a matter of putting everything together to finish up the card. I die cut the panda using the coordinating die and adhered that to a yellow polka dot heart. The heart is from the Stacking Hearts dies from Honeybee Stamps. Added a bunch of foam tape to that and adhered that to the top of the background panel that I had previously stamped. I decided to add a second fishtail banner that I had cut from black and white striped paper, which is also from my favorite things. Played around with the placement of that, adhered that down then added the sentiment fishtail banner and adhered that down. Trimmed off the excess, added that to a piece of black cardstock, then added that to a piece of yellow cardstock, and then finally to the front of a top folding white note card. That finishes up my card for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, I'd love it if you would, and we'll see you next time. 